Do you have to be an extrovert to be a successful entrepreneur? I've heard this controversy that I want to give my take on. How you recharge or your preference in environmental stimulation, I think has very little to do with the amount of success that you can achieve. I think uh, some of the associated attributes that come from being extroverted can be beneficial to business, like being outgoing, perhaps being loud. However, loud makes money, but sometimes noise can come from pain. Sometimes we can see entrepreneurs that overcompensate and act exuberant as a coping mechanism for some hidden insecurity, which I say that not as a bad thing. Most people aren't aware of where they're overcompensating and it is a mechanism that serves them to a point. I'll tell you, I made my first million dollars in my business from a place of trying to prove my worthiness. A chip on your shoulder can be a really big motivator, but it can also be really exhausting and unfulfilling and lead to extremely unhealthy relationships when you have no boundaries because all you wanna do is people please. So what got you here won't get you there. And what got you here, if you continue in that pattern, may actually hurt you if you continue in those patterns. So I say this all as an example to demonstrate for you that I don't think it's a good idea to hold on to any characteristic or attribute with a firm grasp, thinking that you have to embody that because the best thing you can do to be successful is understand that the most successful people, regardless of if they're introverted or extroverted, they have a fluid identity, meaning they're constantly evolving and changing. Growing a business is commitment to consistent and constant evolution. I also want to point out that being introverted doesn't mean shy. One can be a shy introvert. They can also be a charismatic introvert. Introverts aren't these like strange, awkward, nerdy loners. Susan Cain says, don't think of being an introvert as something that needs to be cured. They actually have massive unfair advantages. Einstein was an introvert. Elon Musk, Meryl Streep, Steven Spielberg, love his movies. J.K. Rowling, Warren Buffett, all introverts. Those are some pretty amazing world-changing people. We need introverts just as much as we need extroverts. They are incredible leaders and creators. There's so much power in how they can think deeply in their diffuse awareness, the, the strength and the intimacy in the relationships they build. Think about the impactful people you know who are soft-spoken, intentional, they energize a room simply by their quiet and strong presence alone, rather than loud and boisterous energy. So I want to give you five introvert strengths that are unfair advantages for business. Number one, you build deeper relationships and connections. Introverts are typically more intentional about who they let into their space because of the energy it takes to be around people. So if this is you, you tend to build meaningful connections and want to be around people who truly matter to you. So with you, it's about the quality of the company and not the quantity. Number two, you know your limits and your boundaries. Introverts are very aware of what takes up a lot of their energy when they feel depleted or when they reach their breaking point. And because you know your limits and boundaries, you're likely very careful in your consideration to projects. You're able to say no, and then your yeses are very intentional. And because of that, people know that what you say yes to, you'll do with 110% of your focus. Number three, you think about what you want to say and how. You may not be the most talkative person in the room, but when you do speak, it's the kind of insights and opinions that people stop and take notice. Your communication in that sense is very productive and to the point, again, the theme here is intentional. Number four, you're a fantastic listener because in reality, you'd rather listen curiously than talk. Number five, you're calm and in control. Again, because introverts want to preserve as much of their energy and spend time alone to recharge, they're often the ones in the room who are calm and controlled and constant and steady. Now there are certain things that introverts need to really live in their superpower that extroverts don't. And again, there's nothing wrong with either trait. Each trait just functions differently. And the point of this video is to help you recognize what type of personality you are, what you bring to the table and how to show up for your business. Steven, my boyfriend and business partner, he is very much an introvert, but you wouldn't necessarily think that if you've ever seen him on stage, he has this very powerful and charismatic stage presence. And he is a fantastic performer, both for business and actually musically. And honestly, that power is so cultivated by his awareness awareness and leaning into what he needs as an introvert. If he didn't know and own that about himself, he would miss out on the understanding that this kind of sensitivity is a superpower. And so because of that, the way he operates is he does his best work when he just has white space time on the calendar for uninterrupted flow. He's described it like 
when he's focused on something that he's creating and he, if he has to like stop for a meeting and have all this context switching between tasks, he can't get into deep flow. And pulling him out of it is like, being woken up from a dream and getting back to it is like starting all over, like near impossible to get back to that same flow state. So lots of white space time, just open schedule, make sure that you're intentional about energy management. For someone that isn't aware of their needs, it might seem high maintenance or needy to want this, but what if you shifted your perspective to observing yourself as a million dollar racehorse? If you had a million dollar racehorse, you're not gonna feed it junk and drag it everywhere and subject it to anything less than what's gonna optimize it to keep performing at high speed. You know how they say you are what you eat? You know, obviously, yes, nutrition, healthy food, that's all important, but from the lens of an introvert, let's also talk about what you consume. You are what you consume in terms of content, digital information in your environment. What you consume consumes you. What you read, watch, listen to, who you surround yourself with, it all has an effect and can determine the type of life that you live. All that noise can take a toll and what you consume determines what you will create. And as a more natural observer and deep thinker, likely a deeper feeler too, it all affects how connected or disconnected you feel day to day. So if you're an introvert, here are five more ways to recharge yourself, to get yourself back into the business mindset and show up for your team and yourself in the most healthy way. The first one is to designate a quiet space. I actually super respect this from my introverted friends even at like big events or conferences, they'll be like, I'm tapped out, it's introvert time. And they'll go to their hotel room or their office, or if it's somewhere like, you know, if you need to step outside, whatever you need to do to be in your unapologetic recharge spot. I think it's easy for people to maybe feel guilty for stepping away to get what they need, thinking that they don't wanna let anyone down or offend anyone. But when you think about how they'll continue to show up and serve others when they're recharged, everybody wins. Self-care isn't selfish. I know you've heard that one before. The second one is to unplug, because all that digital noise can take a toll. Texting and messaging are ways of communication that can take just as much energy as face-to-face -face conversations. And whether you're an introvert or not, I think we could all benefit from this piece of advice to unplug for a while, walk away from your devices, and then come back refreshed. The third one is to schedule time off. This can be hard for entrepreneurs, which makes it all the more important, especially for introverted entrepreneurs, the daily tasks, meeting with people, strategizing, talking, can really take a toll on you mentally, physically, emotionally. So intentionally schedule time off and stick to it. Like unplug from your work email and your messages and take time to take care of yourself. Number four, schedule that white space time in your day. Steven, as I mentioned before, he thrives when he has this. He's actually set a really cool boundary that I totally recommend that he does not take calls on Mondays or Fridays or anytime before noon because he knows that his mind is fresh and the most creative in the morning. And if he can have that uninterrupted time, he will move mountains. And of course we all wanna support that. So again, it's not high maintenance or needy. If you work in your zone of genius during the rhythm of your day that feels optimal for you, go for it. And five, be aware of what is gonna take your energy throughout the week and be realistic with your schedule. Back-to-back -back meetings can be draining for introverts. So if you have one of those days, it's probably best to schedule that sales calls or finish that big project at another time. It can be so easy to get caught up in the momentum at the moment and create a jam-packed schedule, but this is where the awareness of your capacity and your boundaries kick in. So know what drains your energy, what recharges you, and find a healthy balance in between. All in all, introverts are not broken extroverts. I actually think that the majority of my clients are introverts, and what we help them with is we help them build and scale their business by building a YouTube lead generation machine. So if that's something that interests you, it is an evergreen system that feeds you hot leads day after day, and best of all, it's totally under your control. No flaky ad platforms, no demanding social media algorithms, just hot leads delivered daily and on demand, and really only takes one day a month to set up. So if you're being an introvert and you need that space, it only takes one day. So I'd love to invite you to join us for a totally free training that shows you step-by-step -step how to launch your YouTube channel, create evergreen content quickly and easily, and use that content to drive leads and sales day after day, month after month. All you have to do is click the link below or go to vipleadmachine.com. I'll see you on the next video.